What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing the Rotofab Big Gulp Intake. So if you guys have been following along and watching my past videos, you know that I recently installed a Stage X ported Kong Supercharger, a 103 millimeter KTEC throttle body, and a new billet supercharger lid. So today we're gonna to be finishing this whole project with the new Rotofab Big Gulp Intake. So stay tuned to see how I install it. Introducing all of the parts for my new Rotofab Big Gulp Intake. So I'm gonna unbox everything. So, this. You have the new intake filter and then the box. How fancy. Righty tighty, left to loosey. So now we put this into the new one, as you guys can see. Wrong way. Tighten that one. So yesterday I had to end the day a little early on installing the intake because it ended up being a little more complicated than I was expecting. Um, I didn't really realize, but we are back today and I have my dad with me to finish the job. So let me show you guys what's going on with the intake right now. Here's the update on the intake. It's a little more complicated than normal, so let me explain it. Um, so here is the old, here is the new. So obviously they look a little different. So on both we do have the breather tubes. Um, but the old one we have two more holes and the new one we do not. So this one is for the meth and then this one is for the catch can right here. And the problem is that we do not have that on this new one. So what I'm gonna do right now is mark a few holes on here and I'm gonna have my dad drill it and we're gonna tap it and hopefully it'll work out. But yeah, that's the little update for right now. So. This is the hose for the catch can, which would usually go here. So, and then we have the meth, which goes in here that we're gonna have to make on here. So I'm gonna have to figure out the spots to do on the new one, and we're gonna get that figured out. All right, so I am going to mark where I think it should be. So I'm kind of using the old one to help guide me. So I'm trying to copy this spot right here, which I did right here. And I think that's pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see. And then my only issue right now is trying to figure out where to put the meth line at because the new one obviously is a lot different and kind of like bulges out right here. So I'm not really sure of where to place the meth one right now. This is definitely a lot, um, a lot more complicated than I planned on. I completely forgot about the meth and all that, so. Thank goodness I have my dad because I don't like drilling into stuff when it comes to that. It just stresses me out. so far guys is so we are now tapping into the last one
now that we have everything tapped in, it is officially time for me to install it in the car. I'm just making sure everything is snug. All right guys, so I finally got that on there. Now I'm gonna tighten down all the clamps and then get everything plugged back in. We have a brand new filter. This is so satisfying. Wow, would you look at that? Let's install this filter, fit it in. A little twisteroony. Oh wait, I forgot the clamp. So the intake is officially installed. I am super happy with it. Um, I did want to let you guys know that it's important to note that for this big bulb Rotofab intake, you do have to tune the car. Um, the other one I had, you do not have to tune it, which is why I had it. It's a huge difference when buying one, so just make sure you guys know that. Um, so I'm not gonna drive this car until I get it tuned. And obviously I did a bunch of other work to it, um, but I'm super excited and I will definitely keep you guys updated on the power numbers and everything and I'm really excited to hear this car so that's it. Guys I'm 